Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome to more Let's Play Final Fa- Let's Play, it's not Final Fantasy, actually. I'm just running my mouth, because that is what I've been saying for, you know, the last hundred th videos I've recorded, more or less. No, it's actually Sword of Mana, which is actually kind of related to Final Fantasy. But anyway, I digress. We have to save Elena, because we're in this creepy mansion with a Count Vampire, who's probably actually a Countess, but... That's not confirmed yet. Um, we need to track down the butler for the key. And kill some bats! Ha! Ah! Seriously, I'm pretty sure that eventually we'll be able to get higher level uh, dash attacks, but... Because I know that's a thing in uh, Secret of Mana. But, in, but I also know that in Secret Mana, you charge up things, and this based on your weapon level. So, I don't know when that'll happen. Um, I wanted to look at that... Excuse me, that coin I got, right? So... Healing Light Effect. Items with Supportive Magic Effect? Um... I don't know if that's a one-time use thing... Or not. Well, this door's open. Oh, that's because it's a uh, not a well. It is still a doorway, but okay. Um, can you be dead now? Thank you. The phone calls are endless. Seriously, though, it's kind of getting a little bit out of hand. Uh, did I kill that thing? I did. Um, I guess I'll finish looking around this room before I go into a new one. So, okay, that's a coffin, right? Yeah, that's definitely a coffin. Oh, hey, it's a bat. It's a box! Stardust Herb. Okay, um, is there no door here? So I guess I will go into... This door. Uh... Can I? No, I need to hit you with my bow. Which is kind of annoying, actually, but, you know... What a Ah! It confused me! Which just reversed my controls, it seems. Uh, I leveled up, though. And, you know, I didn't actually look up how to uh, do this properly. I don't know what agility does! I'll just put it in warrior. I really am gonna look that up after this episode, though. The level up thing. Okay, you know, I don't actually want to be in the basement, I don't think, yet. I want to look on the rest of the stuff on this floor. Um... Okay. And it's dead. Mmm... Okay, this room is immediately a pain in the ass. I guess I'll just kill everything? If only because I want to see if they drop something. I wonder if I can hit both of them. I can! That's convenient. But I didn't get anything. That is less convenient. Okay... Um, nothing. What the hell is that? Okay, it's immune to arrows. So, how about this, my sword? Nope, that didn't do anything either. And I can't go through that door, so... I guess I'll be coming back there. With a better weep on. Um, or possibly a some magic. Into the basement, then. Um, ah. Yeah, I think it's usually only the last monster I kill. Well, okay. Um, that drops items, so... 
I want to try to differentiate monsters like that a little bit. Of course, I could be completely wrong, but that's just sort of my impression. Uh, there are two doors down here. Fine. Making me pull up my bow. You know, the arc on this thing is actually kind of annoying. It'd be a lot easier to shoot if it, sh if it went straight. Because you get situations like that where someone's right in front of you and you can't hit them. But only from the sides, because if I shot like this, it shoots straight. Hmm. Hey, it's a statue. Uh, no. It's a, not a... Okay, that's gotta be a seed. It's not a, uh, what's, what you call it, a uh, gold statue, though, so it won't heal me. Hmm. Nope. Okay. So, I still have that key item I got from way early on. Um, let's see. This, no, not that thing. This thing. How do I use it? Like, presumably I just need to talk to the right person, but I don't know. Uh... Aha! How is it effective? Okay, that is not effective on the skeleton guy at all. Haha! Okay, let's uh change this back so I can kill the skeleton, then we'll go into the other room. Oh hey, I leveled up! Um, yeah, okay. I am now a fighter, which gives me sword power. Okay, so, I think that class change is based upon... This is not what I wanted. Is based m chiefly upon what I put my uh, things into as I level up, and but also quite possibly my weapon levels as well. I think. I, I don't really have a clear idea of how it works. Okay, um... Oh, it's a... It's a... That doesn't freaking work, so... Other way. But that did! It's a fire spirit! Salamander! Yeah, I'm free! I'm Salamander! A fire spirit! Are you the one who removed the meta ball? Thanks! Now I'm free! Hmm? I should repay you! After all, you're the one to whom I owe my freedom! But whatever you need! Woohoo! Ignite to remember, I'm cooking with glass! Receive Salamander, a fire spirit. Um. L and A. We learned how to sit. Uh. Yeah. Behold, sitting! Behold! Salamander! Power up, you say? No, that didn't work. Okay, then. It was worth a shot. I bet I can kill that zombie with this, though. Uh, I still have the arrows. Actually, the arrows should be fine. Because I know the weapon I change, or I'm holding, changes the, uh... Basically, the path of my, uh, weep on. I, no, well, no kidding. No, it changes the type of attack spell I have. Like, it does the same amount of damage, presumably. Presumably. But it has different uh, patterns based on what Weepon I'm using. 
I actually should be using my sword, though, because my fighter class makes me better with a sword. Um... Was there a shiny on the ground here? I feel like there was. Well, it was just the window. Oh. Seriously? Oh, hey, when I pull my bow, it hits people that are immediately in front of me. That's good to know. I don't know. I don't think it's very practical, though. Uh. Yeah. What? Two hits? Really? This is the one with the zombie, right? No, the zombie was in the other room. But this one does have slimes in it. Did that seriously hit me? That's a little bit disappointing. Hey, it's a box! It's trapped. Of course. Of freaking course. Okay, let's just, um... Oh, hey, critical hit. Cool. Let's kill the zombie! Oh, wait, no. I think that... Hmm. Wow, what a waste. Okay. There we go. That did not deal much damage. Uh, let's try changing it to the sword. And also, I need to sit down, because I don't have enough m magic to actually, uh... Haha, <laughs> he's stuck on the lamp. That's great. Okay, well, I may as well just go up to 12 then. Then I'll have two shots of the fire thing. Hmm. My MP is actually really low, though. I should probably put a point or two into the magic level ups just to increase my MP. Ah, okay, that did actually deal more damage. It's kind of annoying that this is the only way I can hurt the zombie, though. But I'm quite certain that I need to kill him. And this is the only way that it's gonna do it. I guess maybe they assumed I would have more MP at this point, at least a little bit more. I mean, if I was playing as the girl, I would. But then again, I don't think the girl actually does this. At least not the same. Hmm. Anyway. Yeah, that is a lot shorter range, so it makes sense if it's more powerful. Okay, the door opened. I should have recharged my magic. Whatever. Whatever. Oh wait, no, that won't hurt you. Um... But it'll hurt you! Okay, three doors. I'll just start on the left and work my way to the right. More zombies? I'm not fighting you. You are a waste of freaking time, I think. At least until I have a more efficient way of hurting you. Okay, um... Let's, uh, recharge my MP, though. I do think I need to use my MP more in order- or use my spells more in order to- for them to get stronger, so... And I think- I'm pretty sure they work the same way as my weapons, in other words. Where, after I have so many hits, it levels up. Um, because if I go into stats, I have five levels of sword, two levels of arrow, and zero levels of fire magic. So getting level one fire magic would probably be nice. Haha, -ha, critical hit! Okay, this goes to a sub-basement, it seems. So, what's behind door number three? Also, let's kill these guys. Hmm. Damn it! Ha! Point blank. Another trap. Do the slime things always have freaking traps? 
Whatever, I wasn't hurt this time, and I got a seed! Hmm... Yeah, so, I think the gameplay of this is, like, pretty good, fast, and good, and, uh, it's pretty fun and fast-paced so far, which I think is a good thing, because it also strikes me as quite a bit grind- whoops, grindier, compared to Final Fantasy. Mmm, okay, I'm gonna do this once, I think, uh, probably the Magician rather than the Sage. So, well, the, this will increase my defense more, though, which I think is more useful for me. Yeah. I'm gonna do that once just for the MP boost. And more zombies. Which, as far as I'm concerned, are still not worth fighting. Hmm. Aha! Oh no, it's just the skeleton thing? I don't want to fight you. I would need to change my weapon again, and... I guess I'll have to change it anyway. I mean, changing weapons isn't so constantly like this wouldn't be so bad if I could do it in one button click. Like, if I could hold down a trigger, and it would just open up that menu. But it doesn't work like that, so it's a little bit annoying. Oh hey, I can one-shot bats now. Cool. Well, I can one-shot some of them anyway. But not all of them, it seems. Haha! -ha! Okay, two, two. And it's a box! Okay, doorway number one. Oh my. He's the va he's a vampire! So wait, no, he's not a vampire. He's looking at vampires. A lot of vampires. He must be a vampire hunter, then. Good question. Also a good question, actually. I'm merely looking for the vampire's fiancé. Leave me alone. <laughs> Whoops. Hellhounds do have quick reflexes. I'll be off now. Wait, what? Since you have set your eyes on this room, I'm afraid we cannot allow you to live. All part of my duties, nothing personal. Uh... Okay, um, what? You know, actually, I'm gonna do this next time, so join me next time when I fight this werewolf. Yeah. Until then, this has been Let's Play Sort of Mana with Chaos Blue. Bye!